Hey guys, Wes here from Wild Hearts. Hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, I just wanted to give you a rundown of the solar system that I set up on my pop-up camper. Uh, we've used it once so far, looking to do it again. And you know that first time we used it, it works great. So I'm just going to spin you around here and show you the panels. So there are the panels are right there. Like I said, they're two 100 watt panels. And what I did is I built a set of blocks for it. Just out of uh, one inch square tubing and angle iron. Bolted them to the uh, top of the camper right here. Don't mind the welding. It's uh, been the first time I've welded in a long time. So part of this setup is you get a splicer kit as well. And then what I did is I uh, zip tied my two connections here. And I'm going to lift up the top so you can see where the other wires are. I don't have any, any wires running through the roof or through the uh, sidewall at all. The wires are actually just sitting on top of the canvas inside. So I'll just pop that up for you guys and then we can uh, take a look at that and I will see if we can sneak inside to look at the charge controller as well. Okay guys, so I did get the trailer popped up here as you can see and my cables are just right here. So there's the other ends. And then it would just literally pull out like that. Then I just feed them over and hook them up just up here like that. The reason why I did that is I didn't want to drill into the trailer more than I had to. So that's why I just left these like that in down in here. And what I'll do is I'll take you around to the other side. And let's hope I can sneak in enough to um, pull out the, uh, or show you the charge controller. And no, I can't. Um, I wonder, just hang on guys. There we go. There we go. That should pull us out enough. Because, yeah, I do want you to see the charge controller here. Give me a second here, guys. I know it's dark in here. I will shine some light on the subject. That's the charge controller there. Um, it seemed to have worked pretty good. Can't see what it's at right at the present moment. But yeah, it uh, went in relatively easy. The only other thing I did was um, I ran the wire in through there and drilled it down. Um, I noticed that the positive wire came disconnected, so I am going to actually show you the connection of it. Now the key part of this solar setup is to make sure you have your batteries connected before you connect up your solar panels to the charge controller. Uh, they actually say it will cause issues with the controller and void the warranty on it. So yeah, that is just the one thing you want to keep in mind. You need to hook up your batteries first than your solar panels. Now, because I disconnect my solar panels 
when I fold the trailer down, it, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, most guys will put in a switch and I more likely will do that as well. Uh, the one thing I do want to let you know is the uh, instructions didn't specify what gauge a cable has to run from the controller to the batteries. Um, I just used an old extension cord that I had kicking around, but you should actually use a, a 10 gauge wire. That's what this is here. So let's uh, hook this up and then you'll actually see how, the, how it does hook up. Uh, it's just a basic connection guys. So the one nice thing about this one is it does have the two USB ports and they do work. We actually used it to charge our phones while we were out camping in March. So it does work. Looks like the screw just came on, came loose, loosened off while we were driving. So it's not going to be that big of a deal to hook back up. And then again, I could be wrong. And that's how it hooks up, just like that. So, I'll just open this up. So in the eyes of this, this is for your, this first port is for your positive solar panel, negative solar panel, negative battery, positive battery, and then this is just for load. So this is for, if you wanna run something else off of it directly. Um, there is an on off switch for the two USBs. But yeah, that is essentially the charge controller. Um, I am probably going to upgrade this to a better one. I know I have to upgrade these wires because this is only a 16 gauge and it should be a 10 gauge at least. So yeah, there's a few things I got to change on it, but for the time being, it works. Um, it charged our batteries during the day and gave us enough juice to go through the evening. Uh, we were running three batteries especially since I got cold that one night. So, but anyways, guys, that's my solar setup. Um, if the trailer was more level, I would show you it better, but that is the bit gist of the solar setup. Um, I'll show you where that connects to the battery as soon as I climb out of here. Okay, guys, like I said, yeah, you should be putting your trailer up all the way, or especially a pop-up. Unfortunately, I didn't, and that's my bad, that's my own doing. So anyways, up to the front here, the way I've hooked the batteries up is, I've got two here. So, I got this one connected to that one, negative to negative. I've got this one connected to that one, positive to positive. I've got the positive cable for this charge controller on this battery, and the negative uh, cable from the charge controller on this battery. So it charges the batteries equally, pulls from the batteries equally when I'm using it. Uh, as you can tell, this battery should be replaced here soon. And that one is a new battery. It's actually a loaner from somebody. So, alrighty. Uh, I want to thank you guys for listening. If you have any comments or constructive feedback, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more and you like what you see. And as I say, please open your heart to the wild. This is Wes from Wild Hearts. Hoping you have a fantastic day, 
and I hope to see you out camping this year. Okay, bye for now.